While most of our students were getting ready for the Easter holidays, 54 of St Catherine's musicians gathered at Sydney Airport for the 2014 music tour. After three months of rehearsals, a huge container of equipment was loaded onto the plane for two weeks touring through the Netherlands, Belgium, France and England by members of our choir, orchestra, band and string ensemble. Our tour leader was our superb head of music performance, David Gresham. Our first stop was the Netherlands, where the girls gave two performances at Segbrook College in The Hague, a school of over 2,000 students and almost as many bicycles. After a quick walk through the tulips at the Kuchenhof, we gave a performance in the medieval village of Monikendam, and then travelled to Belgium for another in the Burg at Bruges, in front of the palace. In Paris, our musical experience was rich and contrasting. They ranged from a master class for strings and orchestra at the Conservatoire Frédéric Chopin to Disneyland where the girls performed for lunch crowds and of course went on lots of rides. One of the great honours was our performance at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at the base of the Arc de Triomphe for the rekindling of the Flame of Remembrance. It was a moving sight as our choir marched up the Champs-Élysées with Deputy Headmistress Mrs Victoria Rennie and parents as the concert band performed the hymn, All People That On Earth Do Dwell. The choir performed Weep No More and sang the hymn Abide With Me, accompanied by the band, followed by the concert band playing La Marseillaise. Mrs Rennie laid a wreath at the tomb with our students Jasmine Yip and Paris Francis, while Eleanor Boxall helped reignite the flame. In London, our musicians took in a West End musical, attended choral and composition master classes at the Royal College of Music before the tour ended with three big performances. The first was at Australia House, famous for featuring in the Harry Potter movies and where Australia's High Commission hosted a dinner for students, families and old girls, with St Catherine's headmistress, Dr Julie Townsend. The next morning it was up before first light to perform at the Anzac Dawn service at Hyde Park. In icy conditions, our mass choir led the crowd in the hymn Abide With Me. Westminster Abbey hosted the final performance of the tour. In the nave, with an audience of over 2,000, the St Catherine's Choir, Strings, Band, Orchestra and Massed Choir gave moving performances before taking part in the Anzac service, attended by the Australian, New Zealand and Turkish High Commissioners and the Duke of Gloucester.